Hello everyone and welcome back to Alcatraz Plays uh, Pacific Drive. It's been a bit of time, I can't remember what I'm doing or how to do it, um, but I spent a bit of time just now catching myself up with the state I left the car in last time. Perfectly well parked, what are you talking about? Um, remember we figured out that the Arc Doc was in fact a doctor, not a document. Um, it does require, if you have a look, um, pick it up. Uh, where, where is it? Here we go. If you press V. It's, uh, it goes in the passenger seat, which we did learn a while ago when we found it in the thing over there. And we have to, I think, install a passenger seat rack. Which means we have to unlock a passenger seat rack in order to install this. And I wasn't too sure about having this in the first place. So I guess I'll do it. Um, we can afford it. But do I want to? Now, see, the thing is... I wanted to maybe try and learn to make armoured panels. Uh, reason being, <clears throat> we've got two on our car that are actually currently broken. Um, armoured door, in fact. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I I need I need to scan a bubblegum buddy. Okay, I don't think I've... I might have seen those in a drive-by whilst the you know, world crash down around me, but I don't know if I know what that is. Uh, belching barnacle, there's quite a few things actually that we haven't learned about yet. Um, that means we can't unlock a lot of these. The other thing we could unlock is maybe an insulated door, but then if we're going to do that, why don't we unlock the insulated bumper? Uh, which is going to be this one. We already did, that's why. Um, okay. Fine. I, who am I to... You know, who am I? Who am I? I am but me. Uh, I will just do what the game wants me to do because it's easier to conform than to argue. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. So we'll install this because the checkbox on the side tells me to. It says passenger seat. This is the passenger seat. Oh, it just goes straight here, so you don't need that. Well, now I can install something else over there. That's just a, in, uh, I don't know what that's done. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, we can now install something on the passenger seat. I'm gonna have a quick browse of this. Therefore, I can install a roof rack now, which means that I can take the side storage off, put it on top, Woo. and then instead of the side storage, I could have uh, a wind or water charger. That's tempting. Let's do that. It only wanted a bunch of steel panels. And we've got uh, sheets, actually. It wanted steel sheets. We've got a lot of them. <laughs> Look at that. That's ridiculous. Uh, so that was in here. It's actually lit up to tell me that I can do it. There we go. Probably makes the car heavier and therefore take more battery. Oh, you can have two. It's going to have to be on the rear. I feel like this is a rear-wheel drive car. What? <laughs> um, so we need the roof storage separately, actually. Did forget that. Uh, is that this? Yeah. XL roof storage. I need a better... I need the advanced workbench. I remember now that you've said it, which requires oh. steel sheets, four of them, actual sheets, oh. yeah. just sheets, Two, three, four, see if I don't, I'm doing it, okay, yes. yeah, bring it, Oops. Uh, install it. I found a spot that let me do it. Uh, mind my trunk. Transfer trunk. It looks the same. <laughs> Being honest, kind of expected a slightly nicer upgrade. Maybe it could be a little less cluttered. Uh, let's have our roof storage. Thank you. It's a blueprint. Your sheets. 
Yoink. Get up there. <laughs> oh, what? It looked like it was going to be massive, and then it turned out to be uh, lame. So you can have this, this. Will I just take it out of there? I don't know. This. But we also uh, we have a dumpster build to look at. This is blue paint. We got that? Yeah. So we should uh, smash it. See what the the goodies it contains. Let's do that first. Oh, cool. Uh, get in there. Whoa! It's full of food. <laughs> what is in this? Decal cake. Oh, I've got the sketchy again. It's alright. Sketchy isn't the worst. We've got one of them somewhere over here. Yeah. Now we've got two. Maybe we uh, decorate our car a bit better because we've got lots of panels that aren't good. Um, and also, we're going to be replacing a lot of them soon. Remember, I was saying at some point in the past that I wanted to be able to have one set of panels sort of in here, basically. I've got one in on the go already. And one set of panels on the car, so they should match. There's no excuse for not matching. So I think I'm ready to leave. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, hang, before I do that, I'm going to check that I can afford the thing I want to put there, which is some sort of uh, battery. So there's the hydro generator, which uses the rain. There's the wind generator, which uses presumably a storm, not the wind of your passage. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There's a solar panel, which probably won't work in a storm. Uh, and then there's spare batteries. So... Uh... These are all the same cost, pretty much, except for the prerequisite of that. Uh, and then, well, that needs an advanced workbench, but also a lot more energy than I have. It, okay, I don't think it's going to hurt us to have uh, a, a mini turbine. Let's just get that, and then when we can afford the solar panel, we'll probably put that on instead. The fact that it costs more means ooh, this one. Uh, it's probably better. So we'll take this. Oh, what am I doing? This is, this is empty. There not even anything in it. Didn't even need to make that. Except I did, because when did I do that? I don't know. So let's have a look at what we've got. Maybe this will tell us whether we need the solar panels, like the wind or the rain. Hmm. Where are we going? Over here. Should we follow that? Maybe. I don't know. It's got one of them highway markers, I think. We've got a lot of um, exploration to do, actually. We have quite a few spots down here we've never been to at all. And there's links we've never discovered. Interesting. Well, let's scan it. Gusts and gales. That's not perpetually stable. Oh. What was that? Oh, look. It knows about these. Does it scan everything on the way? Oh. Last time I was complaining that we didn't know what we were going to get to, but actually I think it's just scanned the whole... I don't like this. <laughs> Fuel evaporation. I'm just going to go follow the... 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 the, the mission. We wanted to change that, actually, didn't we? Oh, well, who cares? Let's go. Lights are on. Seems to be working. Already running out of battery. I've got a door open, apparently. What? <laughs> I do? It says there's a door open. This is the quirk. We had this quirk, remember? I couldn't figure out what was going on. And the door opened itself, and I went, oh, we've got another quirk. But I don't know what causes it. Hmm. Keep an eye out for that. That's going to keep opening itself. That's for sure. I mean, we don't have to do what... <laughs> we don't have to, right? We could go basically anywhere. If we wanted to. It's just this is the route we've chosen. Oh, I don't like it. It's boring. 
that then do not enter. Well, once we get there, it's going to be another highway, so it should take us from there to there. Through, somehow, through the wall. Yeah, and a random encounter halfway through. Uh, okay. That's <laughs> scared. Um, it's just a tunnel? I think this is a slightly different map, but this is not going to be very interesting, so I suppose I'll see you on the other side. Okay, uh, what? <laughs> what sort of storm is this? Uh, gusts and gales, that's going to charge me up, I hope. Um, nothing interesting, except I did find uh, an abandoned squire with uh, armoured doors, except I forgot to make a liberator before we left, and I can't afford to make one now because they involve large quantities of stuff that is in small supply on this side of the first wall. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but also, jeez, you have to. <laughs> you said gusts and gales, not ridiculous numbers of... Did I just... Was there a wriggling wreck that I didn't see? Yeah, okay. Um... Hopefully, we can charge up from that, but yeah, it's, it's not the end of the end of the world, um, but it would have been nice to have replaced those bits. Uh, I forgot that that was a thing. Anyway, let's have a look to see if there's any um, anchors we can steal whilst we're here. We want to get to up there. There's one on this road, and otherwise, I don't think I care. I'm just going to drive through this place. Um... There's a lot to loot down there, but this is a long way away, uh, and I'm not that excited about making the journey when we've got a long way to go. We've got a lot of um, steps to make. Is that under the wriggling wreck? What are you? Pacemaker. That's interesting. We might have to look that up. I know we usually leave the lore dump to the end, probably next episode, but now let's have a quick look at that. Uh, Pacemaker. Most of the time, even a majority of the time, the zone makes a mess of everything. It's pure chaos out here. But sometimes, just sometimes, this eternal rearrangement creates something coherent, even useful. This time around, it looks like those useful things are reconstructions of, our, of some of our own equipment and inventions built back into something that's actually functional. They look and behave just like several early prototypes from our first limb labs. But at the same time, it's also as if they've been assembled clumsily by a child or by someone trying to understand how this technology works. Someone improvises, someone learning. Here I am, trying first to understand the limb tech and then the zone, yet sometimes I wonder if something inside it is also trying to learn about us. It does look like the, um, the, the swapping out type placement thing. Oh, it's just going to zap. <gasps> that is a lot of power very fast, and it didn't hurt, which is phantasmagorical. Uh, that's not what that word means. Whoa. So there's a permanent storm here, so we have to be careful. It should also charge us up, though. It's definitely a blowy storm. Ooh, what's going on over there? Probably tourists. Something... Oh, hang on. Do when I beat? Turn the lights on. The door opens. That's annoying. <laughs> At least we know what it is. Found that. Well, that was a lot easier to find. Although there are apparently four or five. Remember? Four or five currently. Uh, things wrong with my car. <laughs> we solved one. And it said, well done. Now go deal with the other ones. I don't know what you're talking about. So, uh, I guess won't worry about that. What did the auto dock do, by the way? Whoa. That's going swiftly. Let me just follow this road. Try not to get too worried about the weather. Why have you turned up? Something is turning my, um... Ah! What 
Hold on. If I go backwards... <laughs> my wipers turn on. Is that in all cases? I think it's literally if I just go backwards. But it might be go backwards or it might be like apply reverse pressure. So if I'm going forwards and I want to slow down... Yeah, no, I have to be actually going backwards. Okay. We've learned two things. Someone, is anyone taking notes? Because I'm not going to remember. We've got a long way to go before we get back, and it might be another week before I can actually flip in record again. Yeah. Sad times. I was going to record, and then we had a power cut. I don't have many opportunities to record, and turning my power off on one of the few ones I do get. Very naughty indeed. I haven't taken the log or a photo of this, but... I don't want to go backwards, because it's going to turn my wipers on. Oh, hang on. No, it's not doing it. It's something else. I don't know. Maybe it's going backwards in a storm? <laughs> what are the options? I don't know. Stop that. I know that thing's probably now following me because that's how they work, but. Just ignore it. I can't even see my other wing mirror. It's dangerous, isn't it? Bother. Let's go. Rear, my boot could do with some. Ah, uh... oh, what? <laughs> Shut that door. Let's test this again. Look, maybe it's reversing up a hill then, because I was on a hill in all cases. We can test that. Uh, midnight forest, eerie darkness. We need to leave. We're going over here. All of the limb is up there. I think I'm going to not worry about the limb. Um, there's... Probably more to be gained from finding... Uh... Finding um, the unstable limb at this point. which So we can spend more time on the unstable side of the... Well, I say that, but every time we're on the unstable side... <laughs> we get sent back very swiftly. Because... The storm just shows up immediately. There's a road there that's not on the map. I wonder what that is. Maybe I would just not worry about it, because that seems scary. Following a road that's not on the map in an uh, environment that is so eerily pitch black. Currently I'm, I'm on a mission to just make it out. <laughs> Get out safely. Uh... The limb can... Wait, why are there so many left-rights here? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> ow, ow, ow. That's right. Don't worry about the terrain. It's the left white... Weft white... Uh, it's the left rights I can't say. The terrain is fine. We have to be careful about our speed as well. We can't just go careening around this place like a loser. Because we will inevitably run into something that we do not want to run into, which is most of things. Probably can't uh, liberate anything, even if I wanted to. I guess we've got a honey pot. Appreciate that. It's all lit up now, I can see where I'm going. Are you on me? You are on me, but you're not a hurt one, you're a good guy. Okay. We've got our own uh, bunny back, that's nice. Being honest. Let's 
leave me alone. <laughs> I've got stuff to do. No, we haven't. Okay. We just got zapped. I thought I saw a, a hopping hare jump at me and uh, deliver unto me recharging. I suppose not. Oh, yeah, you can turn off. I need some fuel soon. There's nothing in here. Just this. Very rude. This reminds me of Soma. <laughs> Just lights in the distance. Turn off. Um, okay. I, I, do you know what? I'm gonna grab this. Just wallop it on here quick. Repair putty is actually becoming. I'm not sure about it because chemicals seem to be hard to find <laughs> recently. And um, it might be better to do the plan that I had in the first place, which was to have two sets of everything and just leave one in the molecular reconstructor and wear the other one out and then sort of swap like laundry day you know I broke my private It's a return for video game material that is insanely weaker than it is in real life, and nobody would ever make anything out of it. Should we invent one? I'm going to call it Baby Stop. I think I just reversed up a hill again because my windscreen wipers were on. But I'm still not sure. So I feel like I'm pointing slightly downhill, so let's do this. Yeah, okay. Seems conclusive enough to me. But what we're dealing with here is a reversing up a hill. We haven't tried reversing down a hill yet. Let's try it now. Yeah, it could be reversing while on a hill. I'll revise it to reversing while on a hill and we'll see when we get back, I guess. Does the left right apply to my brain or just the car? It might be reversing too fast. Maybe the speed of reversing rather than the direction. What? It's not even reversing. What is happening? When the reversing does that, what did we decide? It was the lights that opened the door. It's the lights that opened the door. It's reversing. That, okay, it doesn't even see like yeah okay doesn't even seem to have to be particular am I on a hill now I do not know this is why it's difficult I don't know what the game considers me to be oh you nearly got me there there is a left right immediately in front of 
the exit. That's just cruel. Can I even avoid it? Yeah. Heavens above. Alright, where are we going? We might as well avoid an unnecessary stop, right? At the wall. We'd have to drive through it anyway. Like, faff about wending our way around it. Anchor obfuscation. Right, what's over here? Turncoat. Fuel evaporation. Not a fan of that. We're just going to have to get through this one really quickly as well and hope for the best. And it's a swift storm anyway. We don't have time to hang around. Right. Uh, hmm. Okay. Turncoat seems scary. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't, oh, that's broken. Uh. Right, we're on the uh, the mucky side of the unstable side of stuff now. As if, as if we could get any worse. Um. So I need to make a. What's wrong with this? I think it's just a ceiling pin. Yeah, ceiling pin. Why are you honking at me? This turn coat me in the car is like against me. <laughs> what? Oh, someone's D and D game. There's two anchors. Go out of it there. So slow. Hopefully we can find some anomalies we've not seen before to scan on the way through. So remember Swift Storm actually, so uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to show up. But that sounds like I already do myself in that regard. Uh, also, these anchors have historically set the storm up very quickly. Is that for a chance of fuel lowering? No. Sorry. Let's see what it's got in it anyway. Ooh. Don't do that. You are, aren't you? You're just driving off without me. A little sod. Do I have to turn you off when I get out? Or you'll just drive off. <laughs> Is that what you're saying to me? Let's put this away. Uh, okay. So that's a battery. You can't put things in a battery. Let's put it in the. I'm not sure I'm ever going to use that. What is all this? Oh, you cranky. Uh, apparently I picked up... Ah! So, that's fun. Oh, I just picked up so much paint that it's insane. And the, <laughs> the game is upset at me for picking up so much paint. I'm going to eat this. Uh, this go. Hello and welcome to the Forgotten 
Yeah, it's just literally the card does what it wants. <laughs> yeah, it's people's random RPG games. Tabletop games. Jeez, already. Well, these people are playing in the zone. <laughs> There's no one out there. <laughs> oh, turn the current. Uh, so we don't have much time. It's not a heck in swift right right now, but. Keep an eye out for those, because there's anomalies we need to scan in order to be allowed to unlock certain things in the place. You know what I'm talking about. So, we need to scan them, <laughs> basically. Like this, for example. Pickpocket. I'm guessing that might... Uh, steal things. So we don't want to go too close to that. Ooh. Lots of tourists. And all get out of the way because I need to go over there. Thank you. I'm too far away from the car. I hate it when I accidentally walk far from the car and don't realise how far it's been. I'm legging it back, trying to make up for it. And also, the flipping... It seems to happen if it's just going backwards, actually, now I think about it. Because... The door was open again. I mean, it could be the turncoat thing. And I didn't, it didn't open that time. Hmm. I think it might be speed of backwardsness. Bubblegum Buddy. That's one of the things we needed to research. Ignore them. Nope. I I've got that. <laughs> that limb pulse emitter is probably the greatest thing that's ever happened in this game. Anything that is remotely unwanted attached to my car, get off. What are they talking about on this radio? <laughs> is it extra unstable and therefore the radio is extra deranged? It's a bridge thing. Does it go anywhere? God knows. What is this massive wheel? It's like a Joshua Bank. Might get some of the more of this stuff if it exists here. I don't know if that thing's protecting them in any way, because I feel like it's supposed to. <laughs> but also, I can walk right up to it and it just doesn't do anything, so... The, the, the law about it suggested that it's some sort of protector, but... That is a giant wheel. Look at the size of it. What is it? 
There's just such weird stuff in this game that I don't know if it's ever going to be explained. And I'm, I'm here for it. I like it. Thank you for the swift storm not being actually swift. I thought it meant that the storm closes in quickly, but maybe it just means that it shows up quickly and I misunderstood. There is a... Dude, where is it? I can hear it. I can't see it. Turn the car off. Get the thing out. That's what it's for. Shut up, car! <laughs> I've already put it out. There it is. It's bang loud, isn't it? Right, now the storm's going to be swift. <laughs> we know all about this. Put that in there. Stop opening the door. Just drive off quickly, just, just go. Like in GTA. Turn on! No, <laughs> it doesn't want to shut. Right, I think the next space is sensibler, so we'll go there and then we'll fix the car. Yeah, perpetual stability. But not perpetual no storm, maybe. Well, not perpetual stability if you break all the limb things, anyway. It was just telling me that if you don't repair the storage on your car, things can fall out of it. That's cool. On your arc device map. I do. See them? Yeah, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the missions? Sure am. We're going to use this. My optical vasalizer. Excuse me, huh? We shouldn't use that. Why not? I, I mean, it's, it's, it's been decades. It's, it, there's no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing it up in secret, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's going to be a surprise for your birthday. I've gone ahead and made an itty bitty modification to your headset driver. What? How? I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What are you using the basilizer for? Ah, uh, no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Driver, get ready to feast your eyes on. <coughs> The visions. Uh oh. What does Offy have to say about this? I think we should get every. What's going on up there? We should get everybody's opinions. Okie dokie. Um, let's get out of here. This. Thing. Put the thing. Uh, put things away. This is one full inventory already. <laughs> it's getting there, isn't it? Now, hold on. It looks like I can get there, but I don't know if I can. And I'm not 100% au fait with the idea right now of picking up the anchors because I am currently perpetually stability -y, but I wonder if... Um... <laughs> Well, I don't want to compromise that. Give me some of this, thank you. See so what's in here? Another waste of tin tubes to loot. Oh, Tim, look at me, man. By the way, Francis, yeah, you, you explain it. it. It's so good. No, it's just. Uh... We talked about this. You should be proud of your work. Toot your own horn. Yeah, I, 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 not this time. Okay. Oops. Well, uh, Francis' theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. 
Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So we created this device to pick up on these uh, sub-physical after effects. How did you explain it? Uh, it was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And what a better time than now to try it again. Oh. What? <laughs> Why me? I got the off-road tires on. Ooh, we've got a nice big art facility here that we've never seen before. If we have. Seems like that, um... I'll turn the car off for now. I like we've been here before. I think we've crashed here before. Nevertheless. Lots of loot. Research. Interesting. How can the Arda crates contain extra cool stuff? What? Are you, what is what? <laughs> like it? Don't like it. Why don't we do... Oh, Fine. And... Push. Wait. Ooh. These transmuters never transmute useful things. <laughs> then again, I'm kind of hard pressed to tell you what I might want to see in a transmuter. Right, let's stop looting literally everything and go and have a look at what the visions may be. I'm following these. Oh, that's scary. Let's avoid that. <laughs> but then go and walk up to it and have a look. Uh, why are you throwing players at me? Something broken? What? Get out. Shut the door. Yeah. Got a flat. I'm glad I don't need an inflating kit as well as a ceiling kit. Uh, that seems fine. That seems fine. I don't think I need to repair it at that stage, do I? Resource? Neon Reef. See what we get. Swamp Coral. Ah. That's a thing that I have been recommended. Quite hard to get. Is it just constantly regrowing or is it just weird? Probably just weird, right? They're hard to see, maybe? I don't know. What are called the explosions that are going on nearby? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Car. Oh dear. This is definitely it. Ah, the Bigfoot mural! <laughs> My personal favourite! I've uh, been granted hey, little... Uh, is it just me or did this mural look different before? 
Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades, after all. Uh, something's... Something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Yeah, look, the... These keep changing. So I approach them. Yeah. They show up and then disappear. So it's also a mural. Hello? The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. <laughs> Believe me, it's on it. I've seen it. Right. Did you see that, Francis? Oh boy, oh boy, Francis! Look, look, look! Uh, look here, it's different from our sketch when we visited. It's literally changing. Uh, it's all scrambled. Or it's irradiated. The shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? <laughs> Francis, you flippin' genius! It absolutely is. Wait, 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 wait! Let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That right there. Is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you get that view of Mount Olympus... St. Francis? I told you your basilizer would work! I... I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're Maybe it is. Get to that third vision. I might take the limb. I don't know if it's going to bring the storm on me. That would be bad. I don't want it to. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, but... I want the limb. So I'm going to do it. What the... Look at me. I think picking this up spawned them. <laughs> and I can't make them let go of me, just the car. Rude. I'm going to stick to following this. Because um, the limb is also over here. What? Is going to say something? I think I have something to say. Just into this. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame, out in the wilderness with nothing around it. Hey, maybe. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. I don't want have to I? talk about it. Chat, have I? It was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. Once in a while, it opens, and everything near it is turned inside out. It's that doesn't sound very nice. Bears, squirrels, and birds, they all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's not fun to see. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning, and, and... No, 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 we're done here driving. You see when you stay away from it, that's all you need to know. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to listen to that. Got another couple of things to listen to. I think we'll be finished. Depending on how much I cut. It should be done in one episode. What is that? Shaggy Scrambler. I think that might have been... Um, One of the things I need to look at as well. Why? I can't. What did that? I've already forgotten. It's a good thing I recorded it. It's just your presence is scrambling all my stuff. Can you stop? Go 
shall we? I don't like it. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That hurt. Uh, let's fix some things then. Didn't like that very much. Get my car a hug and then exploded it. That's just very naughty. Oh, there's no point fixing that. Hissing at me. Okay. Um, put to put away. We need to fix that wheel. Door. It was the lights that turned the that did the back door, wasn't it? Okay. Come on. The inverting doorway mural. To a gateway. Okay, I can get to a gateway. <laughs> Bingo! See that pattern in the last mural? That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. Put the three locations together, and, and you've got a square mile in the I northeast corner just... of the deep zone. Huh. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> and all you had to do was wait ten years for someone else to come along. <laughs> Stop pretending to ignore us now. Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. You know what? I'll be. Not my story to share. Uh oh. I think we'll just leave then. I'm happy to open this doorway. And uh, drive really fast. Uh oh. Stole it. Talk faster, I'm going to the gateway. And my clearance revoked. Wait, wait, you told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show. I don't know if I'll continue talking once I've left. <laughs> Ooh. I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe we can uh, listen to it later. I think that might have been the end of the conversation. Quite a lot of unstable there, look. That's very good. 
interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the Arda database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961. Whoa! <laughs> so we were told. Then, I found access logs for both that deep zone site and the Red okay. Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. After the structural damage caused by the... Uh, lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If no. Dr. K didn't die that day, <laughs> I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. Uh, so would some. I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the room for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you? God, I hate saying that. Driver, I've marked <laughs> the Red facility. These are the ones with problems, planner. right? Head there whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's leave. Um... Let's tinker then, because that's something that you want to see rather than me just fixing wheels. Car moves backwards. Shut up. Uh, wipers. Switches on. Yes. It was literally just moves backwards, even though I could... Bad guess. Uh, okay. Moves... Fast? I have no idea. I don't even know how to do fast or slow. Alright, move slow. As soon as it doesn't toggle. Right? <laughs> Wasting all my guesses. Look. Oh, right, toggles. <laughs> also, fish. Uh, turn the car. It was toggled. This whole time it was toggling. Car moves backwards, wipers, toggles. Yes. Good guess. Wasn't a guess. <laughs> Fixes E. I've only got three left. Mechanics kit. Okay. Beacon's going off. Mechanics kit. Job done. Let's read this. Car degrade count out of control. We're well past 500 TPM. They're self-aware they've created a society. We can't contain them. Of course you can. Now the other one we discovered, also that's weird, can you not do it? Uh, is... The lights... We found that the rear door, rear left door, is open. No, not, okay. When headlights, I think it's only when they turn on, right? Because if we turn them off, they, it doesn't, so that opened it. Open it. But if we turn them on, right, now it's not affected, right? So when they're turned on, the door opens. But it has nothing to do with... Nothing happens when they're closed. Why are you so bad at getting out the car in the garage? No, don't... Shut the door. Goodness sake. So when... The headlights... Switches on... Rear left door... Opens. Yes. Are you going to tell me this is stays on? 
because I'm not a fan of that. Oh, I put rear right door. Let me see that. But it's not when they told. Are we always? Did we not try it with them on? Turn the headlights on. Turn the headlights on. We tested toggles. We just did that. Uh, oh, right. And then we turn them off again. Oh, I thought we tested it. Ah! My science. Right in the science. Why can't you get out of the car? Oh, for goodness sake. Get out. I keep trying to shut the door, but I'm getting in the car by accident. It is toggles. This is also toggles. I'm so tilted by toggles. Headlights, toggles, rear left door opens. Yes. Good guess. This needs a light replacement kit. As opposed to a heavy replacement kit. We will fix it. Exploring. Rear left door opens when headlights toggles. Fixed. There are two quirks left. And we had enough trouble finding that. Let's push this thing to make it give us the list. Oh, it's over there. Battery is charged because I am messing with it. Uh, we need to fix that. But also, we need to replace these armoured doors. So let's go and learn them. That's going to be very handy. Because now I can whack the doors that we do have. Uh, that one can scrap. That one we can scrap. That one we can keep. And we don't actually don't need to replace it. <laughs> Basically, we've got four to scrap. Uh, three to scrap. We also need to learn armoured panel. But that one's not doing too badly. Um, what does it cost? Not too much. We can make three of those. Okay. So I'll sort that out off camera. Probably. Um, and now, I think we'll go through the lore dump. So I'm going to say thank you for watching to anybody who's not too interested in listening to the lore dump. I'll say, uh, please join me. You're welcome to stay. If you are interested in the lore dump, and to everybody who that is, who is still here, hello, uh, in, in continuity from previously. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go through it. Logbook. New things. Neon Reef. So that's where those sparkles came from. Uh, teletype Autoscript. R. De Ref Nguyen. M. 1214-101063. At first, I thought I was seeing things after, well, you know, after that incident when so many others saw things and then they promptly told us to never talk about it. I figured this was just another hallucination, something else I shouldn't log or report. Like how we don't talk about the things that chase us or the files at Red Meadow or the weird weather or I know, I'm getting off topic. Point is, whatever this stuff is, it both responds to and seems to create light. Interesting. Uh, I think we're looking at something similar to glowing algae, similar to those uh, dinoflagellates. I've got some notes here somewhere. I'm pretty sure this material is infused with neon? That can't be right. That explains why there was a light near it. That makes sense. Anyway, my point is that I think we could actually use some of this stuff, and I'd really like to talk to Dr. Turner about this, but her office isn't taking calls. What's happened to her lately? Is she still in charge? Pneumatic deposit bots, which we just never read about. Also nicknamed pneumatubes, the pneumatic tubes that crisscross the zone are low-tech, but they may well but that may well be why they've survived to this day, it seems like. The less complicated the technology, the less the zone is likely to scramble it and screw it up. Shaggy Scrambler, telephone transcript, central exchange, monitoring October 2nd of 1967. We nearly got him, Sally. We were within an inch of catching that notorious that Scott guy. You almost did it, I swear to you. We're going to triumph where the regulators, where the regulars just can't. After 11 months hiding out in the zone, stealing cars, breaking into shelters, taking food. Do you know how we were going to do it? Anomalies. We used roadblocks to funnel him deeper to where we knew those beastly malfunction things were. You know what they did? A whole pack of them descended on his car, right in front of us. His engine dies, his battery burns out, his steering locks... 
He ends up stuck there in the middle of the road with nothing but his regrets. And then somehow he still gets away somehow, just melting into the darkness. I guess it didn't help that all our cars have started malfunctioning too. But that's not what matters. Mark my words, we'll catch him next time. Who is this Scott person? Pickpocket. Eyes only, Battalion Memo, September 2nd, 1971. At this stage, I don't need to know who is responsible, but I do need you to understand that any provocation of these creatures will be an actionable offence. Deliberately luring them with any kind of bait only makes them both more accustomed and more persistent. At this point, we have lost literally millions of dollars in valuable parts and equipment. The colonel being carried away in his porter potty is simply another symptom of lax discipline and disregard for the potential dangers of the zone. I will not hesitate to report any future negligence directly to the Major. I have to mention the porta potty incident. Bubblegum Buddy, Telephone Transcript, Central Exchange, Monitoring August 12th, 1964. Hi there, Dr. Cook, this is Tobias Barlow from Maintenance. We know Tobias. I think I know why our field equipment is missing, and uh, you're not going to like this. So uh, me and a bunch of the folks doing requisition and inventory have been losing gear too, but also finding it again later in different areas of the zone. We thought we lost some to high winds, then some to, you know, scrambling. But the weather's been pretty normal, and we realised the zone hasn't had a tantrum in a while. So we did a kind of stakeout. We left some old gear at a test site and... You won't believe it. These things are like gooey fireflies or will-o'-the-wisps or something. They come out the trees and kind of band together. They grab stuff like magpies and they pass it around like uh, a football team. Anyway, I know you scientists want to know about this stuff, so I figured I'd take notes. There's uh, quite a lot. I did some sketches, took some numbers, and I repeated things. Like in an experiment. I figured you might want to see. So mind if I drop this stuff by? Those pneuma tubes are malfunctioning and in again. Gusts and gales, this part of the zone is frequently subject to high winds, fuel evaporation. An atmospheric anomaly in this part of the zone causes fuel to drain much faster than usual, as if it's evaporating into nothing. Malfunctioning mess, high levels of magnetic interference, combined with broad spectrum atmospheric anomalies, mean that things are constantly going haywire in this part of the zone. Okay, that explains that one. Basically, a massive left-right. Uh, turncoat, sometimes that which you trust the most might still turn against you. Yeah, so the, it was the, the car was <laughs> doing what it wanted. Swamp coral. Bioluminescence is perfectly normal, they say. It's found throughout nature, they say. So why does this light reactive substance still feel so unnerving? Bigfoot mural. One of the series of murals painted by Laura Cesari in 1962. A mural that foretold the coming of Bigfoot to the Olympic exclusion zone. Legend has it that Bigfoot was drawn by the anomalized mushrooms that grow in the mid-zone. The Great Pilot mural. One of the series of murals painted by... A mural depicting abandoned boats in a lake. It was told that, the, that a man was trapped inside the zone and every time he tried to escape, he reappeared on yet another boat. The Inverting Doorway. A mural depicting a blue framed door freestanding in the wilderness. It warns any who behold it to stay away from it. But when it, when it opens, any living creature nearby is turned inside out. Lights. Side floodlights. What the automobile word, world needs these days is more side-mounted floodlights. The practical application of such things may not yet be clear, but it looks like you may be about to find some. Now I think about it, it might be helpful to have side floodlights on one side, because I keep pulling up to things in the dark, and then I have to turn the car around to point at it so I can see what it is. But I don't really want to use a side storage just for that. Roof whack. Not enough roof mounts? The answer is obvious. Push the limits of your carrying capacity. Who even cares about safety? Or aerodynamics? Remind me about the auto dock, by the way. Arc dock. Yeah, I was... Oh, you can activate it. So if you're in the thing and you need medicine, you can activate it at the cost of a lot of battery. So it's not that bad because you get to pick when. Oh, it's an antenna. Ah! <laughs> Ah! There's an encyclopedia article about it. Uh, here we go, Anomaly Studies. Number six. Localised Ardacat Ref 351. Localised patches of this anomaly appeared throughout fringe areas of the zone between 1967 and 1968. Thin, waist-height, grass-like structures would spring up overnight. 
These were topped with variously coloured bulbs that would frequently combust with the slightest friction. This anomaly was aggressively culled whenever it was found and has not been reported since December 1968. Interesting. Interesting. The mailman. Hello. The mailman number three. Are you kidding me? Someone's pouring liquid into the pneuma tube system. Usually it's coffee. Other times it's cough syrup or soap solution. I'm baffled. Firstly, why? Secondly, everyone's denied responsibility. <coughs> we installed sensors to trace the source. As far as we can tell, the liquid just appears. There's no entry points, no cracks in the tube, no leaks in packages. How is this possible? It's a series of tubes. No fancy limb shenanigans. I need to get to the bottom of this immediately. A series of tubes is the uh, internet, of course. Look it up if you don't recognise that reference. The painter. We haven't listened to this. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Ada as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Anna wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until, Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day, the paint ran empty. And then, she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Uh -oh. Now that we know the remnants in the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Okie dokie, next. Oh, okay. Uh, driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No, no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> You're speaking from personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. Probably past the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid zone and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yeah. Yes, these battery uh -huh. keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself! And the vision foretold its arrival in the zone! It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. Then, the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started that didn't attract much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But, they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigating. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. And for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them. No question. Uh, come on, all eight at once. How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. And finally, remember to change the place where it is. This one. No, no, I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. He died here. Not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced he existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, 
He was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and re-emerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. And you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? It doesn't add up. Artist's favorite pastime was carting people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash in the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. I just want to check before we go whether this last bit here Yeah, I don't care about it anymore. So that's the last bit. We did hear all of it, so we don't need to, you know, try and pay. Turns out these are actually. I thought these were not being, um, you know, logged, but maybe just the one that I was trying to replay wasn't being logged. But that doesn't matter. That was just Oppy telling me something on. I uh, who cares? This is it. That's the end of the end of the end of the episode. <laughs> Keep it watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. And hope you join me next time, whenever that may be. Hopefully, I can record a little bit more often. But I say that every time, so let's just assume I'm not going to. Uh, and. Yep, you've seen me mess about in the background, so uh, the the car's actually pretty much ready to go. I don't know what the other two quirks are, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. And um, we'll pick our route next time as well. We do have another place to go to, but look, we've got a... The highway goes all the way up to here now, so that's that's grand. Um, there's outlooks. Look. Anyway, we'll decide this next time. We'll see if there's anything I've forgotten next time, and I will see you next time. But until then, I'll say thank you again for watching. I'll see you. Bye!